Yo, let's go. Time's up. Come on. It's been four hours. Hi guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Berlin again to support our friends from Safe Light Berlin. Um, they just opened up their first physical store and they sell uh, analog cameras and films. So yeah, let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so I'm now inside the store and I'm here with the proud owners uh, Chris and Alessandro from Safe Light Berlin. Um, tell me a little bit about your background, who you are and maybe explain the viewers what is Safe Light Berlin. Okay, uh, I'm Chris. I'm uh, actually a German-American. I was born in Germany but grew up in America. About uh, five years ago I moved back uh, to Germany. Yeah, I was uh, doing photography and I was having troubles here finding analog cameras. Um, because I didn't really speak German and uh, I didn't even know where to begin to look. So I uh, yeah, kind of came up with the idea that there should be a shop specialized in analog cameras. And uh, that's kind of how Safe Life began. I ended up teaming up with Alessandro after we became friends and uh, we're sharing the same passion. Yeah, also yeah. the same problem. And the same problem. Yeah. Too, too many cameras at home. <laughs> and that too, yeah. <laughs> And so, yeah, then uh, we were already selling them through eBay and then uh, uh, we decided also because we were forced uh, from, I mean, our girlfriend to... <laughs> to get out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we started to, to have our own online shop and then when we started to have too much gears, too, too, many, too many items, we also decided to find like uh, an office, but the first office was just an office in a backyard and it was not really cool and then we decided let, let's open uh, let's open a proper shop and maybe also do like a dark room uh, inside the shop and give more service to the analog community yeah yeah you got yourself a really nice place it looks official now yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was is. the whole process of finding the place in the first place and stuff like that it's, it's quite difficult actually because uh, first of all we are not like native speakers so you know with the bureaucracy and all the laws it's not really easy to to understand mm -hmm. how to do it and to prepare the documents to find the place and no one takes this serious yeah. no one believes that people are still using analog cameras yeah also this because uh, at, at the beginning we were saying like that we were working for analog photography and these kind of things mm -hmm. and when we noticed that there was a sort of barrier about that or they were not believing us we, we start to say ah, it's atelier of photography you know like uh, more <laughs> more yeah, generic event space yeah, yeah. event yes, space exactly <laughs> what are your goals for this store because we already talked about it but maybe explain it again you're not just a online store with a physical store now you also have plans for the future yeah i mean what uh, i mean the first what we had at the very beginning was more to be part of a community mm -hmm. and actually we are also part of a collective of street photographers and this is also our home of the collective where we do meetings and everything and the concept uh, of this space is also to share it with the people that they have the same passion and then the next step will also to to have like a proper dark room and i mean also help people to understand what does it mean you know develop uh, do mm -hmm. workshops uh, but it's more you know like a family that yeah. they can come here just hang out on the sofa they don't have to, to buy i mean that they, they have to they can stay here and work there is the free wi-fi and that's it yeah okay so then i will come for the free wi-fi yeah <laughs> <laughs> we also are hosting exhibitions we we want to have uh you know support local photography or friends that are you know awesome photographers that 
is very difficult to kind of break out into the photography scene because I mean it's so competitive so we think you know there should be the bar shouldn't be set so high there shouldn't be you know these uh, crazy expensive galleries that you can exhibit in but you can do it you know anywhere so we want to uh, you know show this and support this and show all, all these awesome uh, like uh, artists. Un unknown artists unknown photographers that are just as good as the professionals so all right let me officially congratulate you guys for the for your <laughs> first store Thanks, congrats Thanks. <laughs> and maybe give us a little tour show us yeah. your goodies okay, okay. Maybe we start with this corner here. Yes. This is the Polaroid corner. <laughs> and I mean, we have actually books everywhere, but normally the books are from our collection. Mm -hmm. But we allow uh, everyone, I mean, is coming to, 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 I mean, to, to read to, them. To and to, like, to, yeah, yeah, we have a bunch of, you know, bunch of cool, our favorite photographers also. We have some down there, William Klein. We have Vivian Meyer. We're also very into street photography. So we have, I think, Most of the books are street photography books, but uh, yeah. yeah, and obviously Magnum contact sheets. Uh, it's I think a classic one. Um, some Bruce Gilden books. Yeah. So, so uh, I mean, since we had them at home, we, we thought it was makes more sense to have them here, and people, if they want, they can have a look. And and here is like uh, all the wall that we were we will use for exhibition. Mm -hmm. We are going to have in June a uh, Berlin SBC the, exhibition, yeah. which is going to be a group one, uh, which yeah. I think will be completely full from, uh, from top yeah. to bottom. Yeah. Uh, 12 and photographers, uh, 10, uh, five photos each, I think. Yes, so, And we were also thinking to, to produce our own uh, do-it-yourself zine oh, for, nice. for this uh, exhibition. So, yeah. Um, I think it's time for some camera action. <laughs> We have to show this. This is one of our favorite cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can uh, sell it because uh, it's so cool. I already know this camera, but maybe explain to me like how, how, how do you actually use this? Well, this is the Kempai party camera. And uh, how it works is um, you set it up at a party. It has a special tripod and it is voice activated. Uh, basically, when uh, you're having a good time and you, you know, I guess in Japanese. Oh. oh. <laughs> When when uh, the level oh. gets high enough, it uh, it shoots. It's like, it's like a nice uh, Kampai. Yeah. Yeah. Kampai. Kampai. Photo. Kampai. Okay. Okay. Turn this, guy turn this sucker <laughs> off. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. What what do you have uh, else? Uh, we have like. Uh, almost dead and dead cameras for uh, for, for parts just, for, yeah. cheap, for people that want to repair themselves yeah. some of them i mean they work or they just the flash doesn't work or mm -hmm. just stuff that we can't really sell but maybe people are interested um here we have our uh, mystery packs basically uh we just put like five random uh, film and it mm -hmm. can be 35 millimeter or 120 So the customer doesn't know doesn't what, know. what doesn't is inside, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we and can, it can uh, be black and white, can be, yeah. We can open show. one because they're quite cool. All of the... This um, is a 120, 120, so medium format. And yeah, they're at least probably 10, 20, sometimes 30 years old, expired. Mm. Um, so yeah, this is a nice little pack with, uh, I don't even know what Super HR100, if it's, I think it's a oh. color negative film. <laughs> and this is from 91, the Agfa. And this one uh, is here from uh, 96. Yeah. Is there also a Happy Meal inside? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much is um, this pack? It's like uh, 20. So it's like four euros per yeah. uh, film. And uh, you ship internationally, right? Yeah. It's actually, it's one of the like... The best sellers. We sell yeah. them all over the world. Um, Uh, because Great gift, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. and it's uh, because it's kind of hard on eBay to find film. It's quite expensive, mm -hmm. actually. People are selling these uh, just single rolls for you know yeah. five, ten euros even. Um, so we decided to buy in bulk and find uh, you know it's cool to have all different kinds. So you can kind of yeah. try out these old films. They give it's for experimenting. Um, they just give kind of funky colors usually, a little mm -hmm. extra grain, but uh, they're they're really fun to shoot with. Okay, now we come to the expensive stuff. <laughs> yeah, here we have like uh, the medium format cameras, and there we have like a bunch of point and shoot cameras, uh, like uh, SLR cameras, and some like just one rangefinder actually. Mm -hmm. 
the gold one. We will get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, here we have all the TL, how you say? T TLR, uh, okay. twin <laughs> lens uh, reflex, I guess. Yeah. And um, they're pretty cool. You look from the top and then... Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, and you're actually looking, Maya style, right? exactly. You're looking out of this lens mm -hmm. uh, through the viewfinder, and then actually the photo is coming through this lens. Mm -hmm. So um, there's no like viewfinder blackout or anything like a normal SLR. Yeah. You're just uh, it's always going to be there. But there's a problem with uh, parallax sometimes if mm -hmm. you're very close. Yeah. Um, that and you, you can move, uh, ah, and it's mirrored also. Yeah, it's mirrored. So oh, it's quite yeah, difficult yeah. on the street if you. Uh, it's like large format cameras, they also. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of amazing how good Vivian Meyer was with hers because uh, mm. to try to take a portrait of somebody without uh, staying there for five minutes to try yeah. to focus it and get it. Um, Maybe yeah. she was yeah. like doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're also yeah. available online, right? It's yeah. Most of them, yes, we're in the middle yeah, of uploading, um, but uh, we always, the stock moves so fast that uh, we put it on, it's gone, and we have to keep rotating the stock, so yeah. we are a little slow at this because we've been renovating the new shop. But, but yeah, uh, normally what, I mean, it should be like that. What we have here on the shelves should be also online, mm -hmm. available. Let's move on to this area here. Yeah. This is, the yeah, right now, one of the most popular cameras, um, the Olympus Muji 2 or Muji 1. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they are very good cameras. We love shooting with them. They're small, fast, uh, and sharp. But yeah, the price has been like skyrocketing since we've started. The price is, I think, three oh, times fast. higher now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think when we started, we were selling them like 100 euros. Now it's 250 yeah, even. It's, it's so crazy. Um, we would love to sell them cheaper, but we can't find them cheap. So uh, yeah, also mm. we cannot do any kind of uh, mar margin. You know, like the markup is quite ridiculous but because they are so yeah. expensive. Mm. Um, and uh, these are like uh, sort of more. Uh, Normal price, yeah, they're not so hyped, profile. but they're they're very good cameras. This is also very popular right now, the Konica Big Mini. Mm -hmm. That's a great little camera. Mm -hmm. um, this is a quite interesting one. Basically, it's like an alt frame camera, but you can decide uh, before putting the film. You can switch to this. This is already uh, for alt frame or like 35 normal and uh, in this case it's like a point and shoot so you can decide either like a landscape or a close up and then the, the camera just shoot like this and it's quite <laughs> fun and it's quite funny because it has this small <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. and uh, i have to say that the results are really, cool. are really cool because it was not expected mm -hmm. this kind of result but it's really sharp i mean the lens is really good that's faster than the gr mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there is a chris uh, favorite, favorite camera ah uh, uh, yeah <laughs> yeah so uh probably one of the cooler cameras we have <laughs> along with the campai um, but yeah. th this will get so annoying after a while, yes. right? But you don't have to use that. It's just an ec extra uh, button that, if you mm -hmm. want, while you're shooting, you can uh, have some music. But yeah, and, and that would be so nice for street <laughs> photography, right? Yeah, 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 it's it's what we were thinking too. That be, yeah. uh, if you see someone and it can be, you know, interesting, you yeah. do this, yeah. and then they will turn, and bam, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> flashed. But yeah, and the results. Actually, pretty good. Yeah, it? it's like you know, like lomography style. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a little bit this aquarium uh, feeling, you oh, know, okay. like. Mm -hmm. But they were they like were vignetting, I yeah, guess. Vignette, yeah. yeah, that could be a video in itself, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, definitely. We have three also, or four of them. We can go on the uh, street oh, shooting with yeah, uh, four happy so smile yeah, cameras. Actually, <laughs> yeah. actually, we should do something like that. We should <laughs> always smile while shooting. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this already sounds like when are we doing it? Not <laughs> if. <Yeah>. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be cool to do like the yeah. happy smile uh, episode. Yeah. And we wear like smiley t shirts and. <laughs> yeah, pink. And we have white. Ah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, here we have a SLR, I mean the F3. It's classic. Super, I mean, a classic. Yeah. FE2 and other, uh, the Canon A1. I mean, just classic SLR. And then one of our favorite that oh, yeah. uh, actually it's the Nikon F100, that it's the closest thing to the digital Nikon. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the body basically, it's just the same body of the new one of the digital SLR. Yeah. And this camera is so. I mean, uh, for fast, me, it's right? uh, yeah, it's crazy fast, and for me, it's one of the, the best SLR. I mean, for uh, yeah. 
Okay, a lot of uh, skateboard photographer yeah. uh, love Because to use the grip. The grip is super cool, so yeah. you can also handle it with one hand actually. And then, yeah, if you have to do skate uh, stuff and you put like a, I don't know, like a wide angle, it's and perfect. And also motor drive on the bottom, yeah. and it does like 10 frames a second or something similar yeah. with with the uh, yeah with the motor drive. Yeah, but then when you add the motor drive on the bottom, it adds one yeah. or two frames a yeah. second. Yeah. But yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, if you think that there is like a film inside, yeah. it's a lot of uh, money yeah. wasted yeah. very fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely. Uh, this is a fake gold, I guess, uh, plated um, like M2, mm. with a really kind of. Uh, boring lens that we got at a, it's like this seven artisans lens we just put it on there because it was cheap but anyways um, it's more like our mascot <laughs> yeah <laughs> we bought it because it was so ridiculous and um, uh, yeah and now it's our uh, crown jewel of the shop <laughs> uh, some guy I guess did this DIY and got rid of it very cheap so we decided to pick it up and um, but the lens actually the lens is I mean I couldn't find a cheap gold lens, so uh, we had to put this on there. But we could like pimp it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you gotta repaint it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's up it's for gone. sale. <laughs> it is up for sale at a very good price, I have okay. to say. So if you want it, um, <laughs> yeah, it's yours. go to the online store. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is our workspace back here. Um, a very small office space. Uh, we kind of hid it behind this half wall. But uh, this is where we do all our orders. We ship them out. We scan our film we uh, answer your emails um, yeah this is our uh, checkout counter we have a fancy iPad checkout system <laughs> nice. uh, okay so the boring stuff this is the cool stuff we have our film fridge well for the vernissage later we have uh, quite a few beers here so um, yeah anyways this is the cool film fridge <laughs> now is the fun part this is our uh, lager, uh, uh, what is the word for lager in English? Storage? <laughs> Storage. Uh, warehouse? Warehouse. 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 <laughs> this is where we will store all of our cameras and yeah. all of our stuff, but uh, right now it's a complete mess because we just finished renovating the shop yesterday and yeah. just threw everything here. So uh, it doesn't look so cool. Uh, sorry about that. Beautiful bathroom in there, but I guess we won't show you that. Um, okay, this is going to be you can imagine this as a beautiful dark room and uh developing room uh, right now it is more storage yeah. and uh, very messy and our very very bad studio <laughs> taped on the wall um this that is works. where the magic happens where we take all the photos for the cameras <laughs> Um, but but yeah, it's I mean, just temporary until we get a real uh, system. And can anyone come here and develop their film? The, the idea is to uh, to do also like in between. You you can if you want, or we can do it for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then uh, the idea is to do workshops, so people they nice. can understand how yeah. to use like. Uh, yeah, we we also need to take a workshop from our friends yeah, to learn yeah. the ins and outs of printing because we uh, oh, okay. don't know so much about actually. Um, doing the enlarging you know from the negative and then onto paper huh. so but you will do it here we will be well. doing it here so this corner would be just for the enlarger because it's a huge one yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is our mystery pack uh, box with all the random film uh, it's the source the source so uh, <laughs> yeah. actually this is a kind of gem that we forgot to put out yeah oh, this is a konika no. jump we need to put this out on the shelves. Oh, yeah. we forgot. Does it jump? Or? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it does, but uh, it does have this really cool wristband. Yeah, right? it's like a uh, tennis, uh, you know, like uh, the head. To wipe uh, the sweat headband. off uh, your eyebrow after uh, the jumping shirt. in the water, I guess. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you use this just to, to, I mean, to protect the camera. Ah, okay. Yeah. We have this guy. We don't even know how to use it. We don't know what it is, but... Uh, Somehow you can open this uh, thing on oh, the top. Ooh. We don't have a lens for it, but uh, it does that, which is really cool. Um, that's all I <laughs> wanted to show you guys. <laughs> um, Let's see. I've never seen this before. I no, don't know. Yeah. It's a screw mount, I no. guess, but uh, I don't have a lens, so I can't show you how it looks. <laughs> is it maybe the M42 mount? I don't think so. Oh, and the back is falling off, so <laughs> that's why it's in the back here. <laughs> okay. Six hundred dollars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to know how did you get all these 
vintage uh, signs? Uh, we met a guy on Kleinenzeigen. Uh, uh, eBay uh, Kleinenzeigen. Uh, or like Craigslist, I guess. <laughs> and uh, actually, he was driving with his family uh, to Easter vacation to the North Sea or Ost Sea. Uh, yeah. And uh, he brought like four <laughs> signs in his car, all these Kodak signs. So we have uh, like uh, four giant Kodak signs floating around the shop yeah. of Fuji. Yeah. And you also have t shirts? Or yeah. Yes. Yeah, we have t shirts, we have uh, straps, we have stickers, we have. Uh, yeah, we are working also on a fanny pack, like the bum bag. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe as like the last question, what um, makes you stand apart from the other online stores or what is special or unique to Safe Light Berlin? <laughs> Uh, we're not like a grumpy old man in an old camera shop that like yells at you if he touches cameras. Uh, we want to help you find a cool camera that's working. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's just the approach, you know, that we want just to be more relaxed. Mm. And uh, the the thing that I really hated was like going to these shops and you know asking for like advice uh, because I wanted to buy I don't know like. Uh, a special film for uh, whatever, you know? And uh, they were like, uh, sort of like, I don't know, like they were looking at me like, ah, oh, another, you know, of these guys, they don't know anything about uh, photography, but mm -hmm. you are supposed to, you know, yeah. to help me or to teach me, you know? Yeah. And uh, so this is what we want to do with our shop, you know, like people, they can come and they don't have to be shy that they don't know anything about analog photography. Mm -hmm. This is not the, the, the problem. I mean, we, we can help. Yeah. And uh, this is what I guess it normally should be. Yeah. <laughs> If you are a shop, you should help your customer. <laughs> yeah. It's so obvious. Yeah. 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 Sometimes. But really, I mean, at the beginning, it was mm. so difficult to, to find places that they were like kind. I mean, they were mm. always, always like... Welcome so. to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think, because I think it's the same. Um, I mean, I'm from Italy, and mm. if you are going to old shops, maybe because they are tired, Mm -hmm. in, in a way or you know they don't really see the that there is like a new generation coming yeah. that of, of course they have a there is a gap you know because they don't know anything about analog photography yeah. if i think about my niece she doesn't know anything mm. uh, i know because i'm in this kind of middle generation so i was using like analog cameras yeah, uh, yeah thank you so much for the tour um, i hope you succeed with your store and wish you all the best of course so last question is where can people find you Uh, well, the new address for the store here is uh, Tegelerstrasse 34 in Wedding in Berlin. Uh, and also, you know, we're on Instagram and uh, on our website. Yeah, safelightberlin.com and safelightberlin for Instagram. Yeah. Go check it out. Buy lots of film, buy their cameras, and but don't buy the golden Leica. It's, my, it's mine, okay? It's mine. <laughs>